Hey everyone, on this video we're going to take a look at the character customization I have been doing for the NPCs and also the animations. So I got an asset that has the human male model which is really cool, it has some armor sets and in this asset it has some logic to combine the textures and it's really great but I did have to do my own NPC dresser to preview the characters and get the strings that I need to create the characters in-game because we generate the textures on the fly. So this is what we had before, as you can see the dwarf models and uh, it's they're all the same and there's no, no interest here. And this is the final result, so we have a lot more variety, it's much more interesting actually from the player point of view that actually the characters represent what they are supposed to be. So this is the NPC dresser, it's a scene that uh, I can preview the NPCs in and change the armor. As you can see, when I press the get button over there on the right, it gives me a string that represents the character features and armor. And as I keep changing, um, the character gets updated. So that's really nice for previewing. I can change the hair mesh, the color. We can also change um, things like, for example, the torso, um, the pants as well. And uh, when we change the chest and the pants and the feet, for example, it will actually change the base skin texture. So let's take a look at the skin texture here. And you can see that it's all overridden on this texture. Now we can also add armor. And um, we can add some pieces of armor here. For example, the helm. So you can see it's, it's a really nice tool. We can change the character as we want. So we can see the final result for the NPC, how it will look like. And after it is how we want it, we can just press the get buttons and we get the respective strings, and then we just place it on the, N on the NPC definition. So this is the armor texture, you can see it's all combined here. So all in all we just use two textures, one for the skin, that also has other textures on top, and the armor texture, which has the textures for the armor meshes. So I think it's a really great tool. And uh, these are the final results. For example, a few sample characters that I made and I took a screenshot. And this is what I put on the NPC definition. So you can see that uh, the same strings I had there, I could put here. And then the characters will spawn as they are defined. So you can see in-game, the characters have their appropriate armors and uh, features. And it's much better than just a simple dwarf. In the, eventually I would like to have um, a, a, a Unity costume editor, like uh, these windows you can see here. A costume editor window. And this is also one of the first times that I had the model integrated into the game and having general, uh, randomly generating characters. That was really nice. So now we'll take a look at uh, animations. So I have a simple scene that uh, I can use to test animations on different characters. And we're going to do some movements. So for example, we can walk forward. We can walk backwards. For the most part, these are very similar or the same. We can run forward, jump, the jump is the same on all of them, and then the attack animation. And you can see that here it's different for most of them. So that's great to preview, it really helps. And now we can walk and attack, and you can see it's definitely not perfect. There, It's quite some weird animations in some of them, so it still needs lots of work here, but uh, it's a great start. The 
this is the list of animations and I can set up here easily which animations play on each uh, action. And um, let's take a look at this in-game, how it actually turns out. It's not perfect, but uh, it gets the job done. So I'm going to run into these thugs and we'll have a, a couple of combat sessions. So this is just simple animations. It stands in position and uses the attack animation. I throw a spell there. So let's do this again. But this time we're going to be moving backwards as we attack. So it's clearly not perfect, but um, I think it's a good start. And we can later polish this. So all in all, I think these are great improvements. So we have the character customization. We have a lot of movements and actions we can perform with the human model. And I think it's great. Now we can actually have some variety in the, in the characters and the NPCs. And soon uh, we'll have the character creation screen. And that will benefit from a lot of what we have done here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumbs up uh, if you like. And see you in the next video. Bye.